Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today, 50mistakes.com, 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. Um, what do we have up today, Jamie? So today we're going to talk about um, role playing and um, role playing with the staff. With staff and how important role playing is. I would say role playing is probably one of the most underutilized, most simplest, effective training tools out there. Would you say that? I would agree, yes. I mean, how many restaurants, restaurant owners, answer the question, and managers, how many of you actually role play on a regular basis? Now, you may role play once, or you may think you're teaching staff something once, but realistically, to role play, Jamie, you have to take the same scenario and do it a month, two months, three months, even six months. That's what Chad Holmes says, the... Uh, the, uh, the guy who wrote um, Ultimate Sales Machine, he, he recommends six months of pure role playing on the same scenario. At that point, your staff is going to understand it and get it. So, Jamie, what are some what are some topics that restaurants can role play on? Because you know, ob obviously, a manager is going to be watching this and their owner and say, "What in the world would I role play on? Why would I have to role play?" What are some of the most common things that we role play with? So there's lots of different things. There's things like greeting people at a door. There are things like um, setting tables, resetting tables, how to approach a table, how to how to uh, answer, the, answer phone. the phone. Do you know most of your staff doesn't know your address to the restaurant? It's amazing. You think you teach these things? You think because they drive to the restaurant every day or walk or get a subway? That they understand, they know the address, the physical address. When somebody calls and asks for directions, says, "Well, you know, what are the landmarks near your restaurant? What's the physical street address?" Physical street addresses are so much more important now with GPS. Yes. And especially if you have a new person answering the phone, you're dead with that. How does that look? I mean, would you want to go to a restaurant that they won't even know where their address is? Um, something that's what's very what's very frustrating for us. We go to restaurants late because we're late people. Right. And the staff just never seems to be trained on how to handle a late table. You know, it's always abrupt and rude. Our kitchen's closing in five minutes. No, I'm welcome to XYZ restaurant. Um, let me get you seated. I would love to get your order in because our kitchen does close in, in five or 10 minutes or whenever it is. And I want to make sure you, you get your food. Instead of saying our kitchen closes in five minutes. We've had that happen to us so many times, Jamie. And it's so frustrating that the staff is just abrupt and rude. It's like you're a bother to them. So um, what are some other um, great role-playing scenarios? Now, really the one most important thing is, and you mentioned it earlier, um, about greeting people at the door. door. Now, you do something called your one-minute um, miracle. or one, What, 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 what role-playing do you do with, with the one minute? Where you leave the staff alone for one minute. It's just called the one minute, I don't know, one minute test, one minute. So what Jamie does is she gets staff, she puts them, you know, gets them lined up and says, I'll be right back. And she leaves and you time it for a minute, right? An exact minute. Exactly. And you walk back into the room and you ask the staff, how long was I gone? And what, are some of, what are some of the average answers? Five, six, seven minutes. Seven minutes. And this is only 60 times seconds. So the importance of greeting somebody at the door within 15 seconds is crucial because that 15 seconds to them is a minute, right? Absolutely. So you have to role play that scenario with your staff and have your staff understand, oh my gosh, one minute seems like an eternity, but it's really not, but it does seem like it. Um, something that and necessary to role play with Jamie is food allergies. Absolutely. Food sensitivities. So many people have celiac disease, they're avoiding foods, they have allergies. You have got to role play all different types of scenarios with your staff and keep role playing. Now one exercise we did this last week was we handed, was one situation, it was how to sign up a, a guest on a loyalty program. We have a very strong database and a loyalty program, so we have an email base, database and then we have a loyalty card, which is free. So there's two separate databases. So our big role playing is how to qualify somebody for either just an email or to actually get them a membership card. So we took a piece of paper, we wrote down, what, 10 different scenarios, handed them out to the staff, and the staff at that point, we would role play with them and they would have to decide how to qualify or pre-qualify a guest. Because obviously, 
not to get off topic, but our loyalty program is designed to reward people. We can't reward somebody if they live four states away because they're not going to be dining with us. Or if they live a hundred miles away, they're not going to be dining with us on a regular basis. So it's extremely important for us is signing and picking up the right guest. So we'll do this exercise over and over and over again because it's extremely important to us. But at the same time, one way to pick up topics, Jamie, that we found very effective is you ask your staff. Let's come up with a brainstorm session because if you should be, if you've been watching my videos, you should be having regular seminars, workshops, staff tastings, meetings. staff meetings, mandatory staff meetings. You should, in these meetings, you have workshops, you have seminars, brain sessions, brainstorming sessions, and you ask your staff, let's come up with the most 50 pertinent, most relative role-playing things that you need to know as a new staff member walking in the door here. Think back to your first day, your first week, your first month. What was the biggest things you had to learn? Let's write all these things down and come up with 50 top role-playing. Let your staff come up with it. It's not something that you as a manager and owner has to sit there and ponder and say, oh my gosh, I have 10 scenarios here. No, brainstorm. Get your staff involved. Get guests involved. Get everybody involved and make it fun. Anything else on role playing, Jamie? No, just continuously do it. Do it, do it, that's, do it, that's do it, all I can do say it, and is do it. Do role playing. Great. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thank you for watching. This is part of my 50mistakes.com. If you're a restaurant owner, a uh, restaurant manager, and you need help, please email me. I'd love to set up a consultation. Thank you very much. Help at 50mistakes.com.